Certainly a lot of reaction to last night's debate happening from around the world as well. The British paper The Times writes the clearest loser from the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden was America. Germany's Der Spiegel analysis, a TV duel like a car accident. And a journalist in the French paper Liberation called it chaotic, childish, mad and grueling. Joining us now is Richard Haas, president of the Council on Foreign Relations. He's the former State Department Director of Policy Planning, former Special Assistant to President, President George H.W. Bush, and he is the author of The World, A Brief Introduction. Richard, good to have you with us. So certainly a lot of reaction from overseas. You tweeted this out saying that was the most discouraging, most depressing, most troubling 90 minutes I can recall. If you are not worried about the future of this country, you were not watching. Do you think other countries were surprised by what they saw last night play out? The short answer is yes. Uh, maybe not shocked, but surprised. This was a qualitative deterioration of the image of American politics that we've been transmitting to the world. What's so interesting is beyond surprise is you had two very distinct reactions, Eamon. You had democratic countries, particularly in Europe, who were truly dismayed. You just read those headlines. Really dismayed. And for them, the idea that they're placing their security in these hands shall we say, leaves the Europeans wildly uncomfortable. And then you had the reaction in China, which basically said, look at the American debate. This is chaos and disorder. Implicit in everything China was saying, that's why we here in China don't trust democracy. That's why what we have, a repressive authoritarian system, is ultimately better. And that's what's so interesting. We, we undermine both confidence in us but we also undermine the appeal of our model. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure for a long time there was, uh, you know, uh, the American model and all of its machinations were held up as uh, an example form of, uh, exemplary form of democracy for citizens around the world. Authoritarian leaders today may be looking at it and say, look what you get if you get this kind of democracy. Um, let me ask you really quickly about uh, another uh, headline, an opinion piece in uh, Al Jazeera English says, America is cracking. The first presidential debate proved it. Do you think this debate undermines, as you mentioned there briefly, confidence in other countries to be dependable on the United States or to depend rather on the United States and its ability to, to stand by its allies? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it shows our political divisions are profound. Uh, I think, you know, we've had a political crisis. Now we have the threat of a constitutional crisis. And if after Election Day, it becomes Election Week, Election Month, I think you'll see a lot of countries recalibrating their dependence on us because they'll basically say these Americans are too divided, they're too distracted, too inward looking, too unpredictable. We have to increasingly take our own fate in our own hands. And for some, that might mean appeasing a stronger neighbor. For others, it may, be, may mean getting stronger themselves. Either way, American influence will, will, deter, will decline if that's the general take on what's going on here. Let me ask you about what this means for America's national security, because people may be watching this thinking, oh, this was just a political debate. As you mentioned, this could lead to a constitutional crisis. But for many people around the world, certainly people here in the United States, explain to us why this also impacts our long-term national security. Well, a big part of American foreign policy for the last 75 years is we've created this network of relationships many formal alliances, others' partnerships. And essentially, others have not developed certain types of weapon systems. In many cases, they've essentially said, we're going to put the lion's share of our security in your American hands. And what, if they wake up and they basically say, those hands are no longer safe, those hands are no longer predictable or reliable, then again, then, then it's a brave new world where they essentially go very different ways, will have less of a voice, some may decide they need nuclear weapons of their own. Some may decide they've got to tilt towards a China or Russia because they can't count on us to come to the rescue. Some just may decide, like Turkey now we're seeing, or Saudi Arabia in recent years, they're going to do what they think they need to do in their neighborhood. Whatever, it's not good for us, our interests, or our values. Yeah, it's quite remarkable to see what has happened in the last four years of America standing on the global stage. Richard Haas, uh, always a pleasure. Thanks for taking the time. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.